everyone, Landell here, and today I will be discussing the differences between griefing and pranking. Alright, so the first rule of pranking is do not prank anyone that does not want to be pranked at all. They can tell you, or they can put up a sign saying, do not prank. Because if you do prank someone that does not like to be pranked whatsoever, then they would get mad and either grief you really badly or end up talking to the server admin and report you. Alright, so they come back from a long trip from either mining or doing whatever and all of a sudden they see a bunch of wither roses down in place of the poppies. So they start walking around and trying to figure out what happened to their poppies. And so they keep walking around, keep walking around, getting hit with the uh, Weather Rose effect. And then they decide just to give up and go inside. Once they go inside, they notice that the puppy in the flower pot is not there anymore. And it's replaced by the Weather Rose. Prank number two, the old door trick. They pop in to their house from a long journey and all of a sudden they come back and see this iron door and they're like trying to open it and they're like, what happened to my door? So they keep, they start looking around and they have no idea where they, how to get in from. So, they keep looking around until they spot the button. Or make a button. Here, one. Prank number three, the old Christmas giving prank. Since it's around Christmas time, you can always give them a gift. But of course, you can prank them in such a way as well. They just come back from mining and so they come up here to set their spawn again and all of a sudden they see this diamond armor and they're like well it is christmas the old staring up at the ceiling trick they walk in and they see you staring at the ceiling. They keep doing things, looking at you from time to time. And you're just still staring up at the ceiling for hours. On end. Not realizing you're either probably AFKing or just wanting to look at their ceiling. Prank number five, 
alter ego. You can use an alter ego for pranking as well. If you have the mob head da data pack from Vanilla Tweaks, you can use any mob head you want, such as the sheep head. Of course, you can also use the Ender Dragon head from one of the end cities you go and get. That way, they will never know that it was truly you. You can always blame it on your alter ego. Alright, so the difference between pranking and griefing. Griefing is just completely destroying their house or their build. You can griefing so do not place water completely surrounding their whole entire build. That is one good example of a griefer. Another example of griefing is placing lava down on top of their build or from their build and setting it on fire and burning it down. Another good example of what a griefer is is killing someone without their knowledge or them wanting you to kill them at all. I mean, it could go either way. It could be funny, but at the same time, they could get upset about it. You gotta be careful with killing somebody because they could take it up to two different ways. They could be alright with it and just joke around, taking it as completely as okay, or they could take it really angry and upset about it. So you just have to really be careful about killing people. Another good example of griefing is stealing their items. You don't want to go in and just take their diamond and just keep it. You don't want to do that. Because I can tell you right now that that would even make me upset. Another good example of griefing is blowing up any of their stuff, their builds, their items, anything, with TNT, of course. Now you should know what a griefer typically is and what not to do. Moving swiftly back to pranking, you can follow them around and completely just confuse them. They will have no idea why you are following them around for at all. Idea number six, the curse head prank. All you have to do, and all you need, is a dispenser and a button, and some sort of head. It can be any head with the Curse of Binding enchantment on it. And so you push a button, and now they have a uh, carved pumpkin head on them. So when they get back, They'll be confused why they can't really see very well. And they're like, 
Oh, hold on a second. I have the pumpkin head on. Idea number eight, encasing them in a block that they do not like. Basically, all you have to do is just encase them in whatever block they don't like. In this case, mine would be granite. I do not like the texture of the raw granite whatsoever because I can't seem to fit anything with granite at all. And when they come back from AFK, they would be like, uh, what? What's going on in here? So confused, and they'd be disgusted with the block they did not like. Idea number nine, the coordinate prank. All you have to do is put a sign down with some random coordinates and then send them off to that coordinate point you gave them And then have a sign that says, just saying hi. And they'll be very, very lost and confused on the reason why you sent them to this corner. Prank number 10, the funny face prank. All you had to do is build a funny face in their base area. And when they get on and go to that area you put the face at, they will be laughing for non-stop for a while. And I believe that's all the time I have for today. So please hit that like button and subscribe. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Right, it feels right, yeah. I'm saying that it feels right. Why is there a random zombie at the end of this clip? I don't know.